So specifically, there are certain target, targetable mutations that come up routinely for patients with pancreatic cancer. There's probably three to five percent of patients with pancreatic cancer that have genes in, in that have mutations in genes called BRCA or BRCA, and similar genes like PAL B2 that actually are likely to predict for response to certain kinds of therapies like oxaliplatin, but also some of the newer therapies called PARP inhibitors. There is about 8% of pancreatic cancer patients whose tumors have a, a mutation in a gene called ATM, and there are newer therapies in clinical trials being designed for those patients. Probably most exciting, just because of the degree of benefit seen, are the small but real percent of patients, probably 1% of less of pancreatic cancer patients, who have very unusual but nevertheless very targetable gene mutations things such as microsatellite instability or MMR deficiency, or there's another uh, gene mutation called an NTRK, NTRK fusion, and there seems to be benefit for uh, the trial, drugs that are now currently in clinical trials for patients with these very specific mutations. So I would definitely have a discussion between the physician and the patient about the benefits of potentially doing molecular profiling for pancreatic cancer.